Welcome back to Magic Gathering Strat, I'm Binky B and this is game 1 with <coughs> Cruise Control or if you prefer Grixis Control We are on the draw and Mulligan. I think this hand is fine, I mean we are a little land light but we have all the interaction we could ask for we can even interact with a combo deck so it will be painful yes and if we are facing like burn this hand is very bad. Untap Stevens into Delver. Alright, well, we can deal with that. We have to take a lot of damage to do that, unfortunately. So, this is one of the decks where I think we take red black. Where um, Rest in Peace would have been good. Because this deck loves. Oh, really? Nothing. I think you'll just get it out, th uh, thought seizing. Because if we want to use it, <laughs> sure. That is so fine. <laughs> I do not care about that. I probably got the card I wanted anyway, so <coughs> I don't really care. I'm just glad that I saved myself two lives. So we got blue red, so I think another black land. Black blue would be the best. Sure we can play that. I'm not really a fan of electrolyzing here just for value. I might start doing it next turn though. I think another blue black is just what I want. I don't think he has a blood moon. Another thought is sure. Uh, no, actually, I'm just gonna keep that in hand. So I assume that he has like infinite numbers of young pyromances. Yep, it resolves. And it will die. Crypto Command is pretty good. Grave Titan is not bad either. I'm just gonna pass again. I would like to counter draw if possible. <coughs> yeah, some more lands would be nice. He has five cards and it's five spells. I would assume at least one of them is a burn spell of sort. Uh, he might have some kind of counter magic as well. We have already seen a spell pierce. So I would assume that he has more threats in hand. Otherwise, I'm not sure why you keep that hand. Counter draw. We need some more lands. No, tap it wrong. There we go. Another thoughts is in a treasure cruise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How convenient. Yeah. The only thing I really like to stick in my graveyard is lightning bolt, but that's fine. Well, that's pretty good. I think we can afford a thought is just to see what he is working with. Cruise, Pierce, Snapcast, the Mana Lift Bolt. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we can counter whatever he. No, he could actually spell Pierce. I think he'll just take the Trisha Cruise then. Seems like the best card. Could actually thought this again. Yeah, sure, whatever. So we'll take the Mana Leak. So you will have Snapcast, the Bolt, Pierce, okay. Snapcast, the Bolt, Pierce. I think we will just... Uh, yeah, I think we will just gamble on that he did not draw a mana leak off the top for a remand. Nope, he did 
did not. All right. Grave Titan doing what Grave Titan does. So this is interesting. We could bring in Dragon's Claw. They're pretty good. We could bring in another Terminate. We could bring in Angers, Pillars, Electricery. As you can see, I'm pretty well prepared for this matchup. This is all the cards. Even Ley Lines is actually fine. So we got a lot of cards. I think we can safely remove Thought Seizes. I don't really like them. I also think we can remove. The thing is that, yeah, Ashok is pretty nice. Don't think we need this member because we have cheaper and better removal. I guess Anger and Terminate. Uh, we could bring out the Mana Leaks too, but I don't think that is correct. We could also bring out the Damnations, and I think I'm going to do that to lower my curve. So now the question is to bring in a slower pact, a negate, to try to jam the dragon's claw, or a couple of ley lines. Very interesting. Don't think we need a grave titan. Actually. Gonna bring in more removal. And a negate. Gonna leave Dragon's Claw in the board for now. Uh, he does have a fair amount of red spells, but I'm not sure if his and mine combined makes the claws worthwhile. <sighs> Similar hand to that we had last game. I think we'll keep. We will get punished for the fetch lands, but what can you do? Pillar of Flame. Good draw. So we're gonna bring a steam vent this time and pillar of flame that. So if he plays like yeah, Empire Mancer and the Gitaxian Pro, we can electric her both. All right, just that. Uh, Yeah, I think we'll just bolt. With those decks, it's like kill on sight. That's all you need to do. And try not to take damage from your lands. Sure, that's fine. Is it foil? I think the foil animation is very hard to see on medical line nowadays. I am par apparently opened a foil time walk in a vintage masters draft and I kinda didn't realize it. Then I saw, saw there was two special rares and I was like, ah, oh. <laughs> right. Is the rainforest? Sure, sure. Serum missions, fine. Where did you put your cards? Top and then you fetched. It's not really the way you want to do it. So let's see what he does. If he has a Delver here, do we bolt it right away? I don't think so. Top, top. That can't be good for me. <laughs> Another Serum Missions, sure. I can't do much about that. Top, top. Okay, so we drew one of the cards kept the other one and found yet another one. So I think I'll go with black red here actually. Because I kind of want double red. Sweet. Let's play that tapped. Pass. <coughs> as long as we draw lands from now on I think we'll be fine. The only thing that is concerning is the treasure cruise. Yep, that will resolve. Can't stop that. Yeah, Treasure Cruise would be pretty bad. Treasure Cruise without like Mana Leak backup. 
If he plays a treasure cruise now, I don't think I can fight it actually. But we will see. He's in the tank at least. Another land, alright. Snapcaster. So if we mana leak, he can spell Pierce and play Serum Missions, okay? Yeah, I think I'll just allow Snapcaster Mage. Sure. Yeah, that's fine. Now we can't really play anything else this turn, so all well. Bottom. Two on the bottom. That's the first. Time to end your evil reign, Snapcaster. Be gone. Lightning bolts, not horrible. Yeah, the only card that really worries me is Treasure Cruise. So what can he do here? Another Snapcaster Mage. Uh, sure, that's fine. He's gonna play it on Serum Visions again. When he casts it, I will Electrolyze. Since I can't uh, defend... I guess if he has a Treasure Cruise now, this is horrible, but... I can't really sit here and wait this spell well that was going to happen at some point bottom and uh, he doesn't really know it could be like a second red source so he does know about those three cards I wouldn't mind it Treasure Cruise. One, two, three, four, five, six. On tap draw Treasure Cruise. Bolt that Treasure Cruise. Yeah, that seems like a good plan. On top. My one and only Snapcast Mage. I think I'm gonna go to his turn. that see if it survives no there it is now this will be very hard to win I knew it was coming it was just a matter of time Yeah, well, I can't do anything about that. <sighs> so, if he like plays, sure, that resolves. I guess I will play electric on that. Right. Plus the mire is not horrible. But this will be hard now. I need to draw my own treasure cruise. Click. Yeah, I'm gonna man like that. He knew I had a man like too. So he probably has two clicks. I still think it's correct to fetch here. Gonna get another red source. Or another blue source, sorry. 
Tonic Edge is not fantastic. I guess Snapcast Mage. Targeting Mana Leak. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, that's horrible. Oh well. Yep. You take my bolt. Ooh. <laughs> I really hope I get to untap with that. So we'll take three here. I can't prevent that. Hopefully he sees this opportunity and go nuts and just dumps everything on the on into play. Another trash cruise. Well, no, a dig through time. That is pretty awkward. No, it was a treasure cruise. But you only wanted two mana. I see. And a probe, yeah. So what is my best draw? Terminate is not horrible. Well, I just have to treasure cruise, I think. If I take edge to land, hmm, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, if I take edge to land. This is pretty interesting. Yeah, I think that's the best I can do. It uh, doesn't really matter. This plays around uh, Mana Leak and Remand, where it doesn't play around something like Spell Pierce very well. But what can you do? I need to resolve this. Uh, don't need that. Uh, don't need that. And probably not that either. Alright. I guess we just... Well, let's terminate that. I might as well bolt that well where I'm at it. So that first treasure cruise was a stabilizer. Now I need basically one more or a better skull or something to tip the game into my favor. But two treasure cruises way before mine is very hard to beat I think. I guess he could get greedy and dump a lot of things into play so I can uh, draw like an anger and get back that way. Or electricry, I suppose. If he attacks, do I take it? Oh no. Snap cast a cruise? No probe. Interesting. Yeah, well, I have a mana leak. <coughs> Ready to protect my next spell I draw. Which kind of has to be something good. Yeah, I think I just have to take that. Blood Moon. 
Well, I didn't draw anything, so let's see. Can I win from here? I block, yes, yeah, still think I can win. Although now this will be very hard. I need to draw like an anger and then a bear skull. There it goes. Alright, now we're there. Okay, so it does run angers, good to know. Or blood moons. <coughs> Maybe Grey Titan isn't that bad. I think it's correct to bring in the ley lines actually. I haven't really tried those uh, matchups out yet, so. <coughs> Excuse me. It does feel like Ashiok is hard to beat for them, but maybe I'm wrong about that. And let's remove Jace too and bring in Ley Lines. Let's try that. Maybe I should have brought him in for the first game. I mean, it stops Snapcasters, it stops Treasure Cruises, and whatnot. And that might be good enough. It was definitely the two treasure cruises that uh, got me this game. Blood moons isn't that bad. Many of my spells is red, so well we'll see. The problem I have with bringing in ley lines is that if you draw more they're not very good uh, sure this one is pretty pretty good let's not take any damage from my lands do you have turn one delver looks like it oh, turn one zero missions all right so if we get the opportunity, we will fetch basics. Top top. Well, that's not good. So this hand is pretty soft to... So let's see if he probes. He does not probe. I don't think I'll just bolt that. Well, that's not really the, <laughs> the fetch I was hoping for, but whatever. It was a land, and that's good. And pass, interesting. Yay, second battle skull. Now we just need a fifth land. Let's see if you have a click. You definitely have a blood moon. You do have a click. Well, I can't stop you. So go ahead. If you want to tap out for a Blood Moon, you might get a Battle Scald. And if you take anything, I can draw a Count Spell. So go ahead and take your best shot. Yeah, this is pretty awkward because all those cards is excellent but if he wants to resolve a blood moon I would not take anything but if you tap out for a blood moon can you beat the batter skulls that is the question so unless he has a fourth land blood moon and spell pierce no, he did not take anything. Interesting. So I can't remember if we have another basic swamp. I just built the deck, so it's pretty hard to just instantly know. Delver is okay. Treasure cruise, interesting. Uh, let's fork bolt that. No, actually, 
let's open this up deep. Treasure Cruise is not really online yet, so bolt me. Well, I guess we terminate then. Yeah, I'll take the bolt. So now he needs to keep man up to not just lose to um, Periscope. Interesting. Leyline of the Void. It's a bit late. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can try a treasure cruise, but I don't think that's correct. I'm just gonna pass. Young Pyramus. Yeah, it was kind of expected. There is a polluted delta. Now I think I'll go for a treasure cruise. Getting an island. One, two, three. Yeah, I'm gonna fetch this too. Getting the swamp. So a reman here would be bad. He did not have a remand. So does he have a count spell at all? Hard to know. I'm gonna pass the turn. Try to bolt it in the upkeep. He could still have a count spell, but uh, now he needs to very carefully manage his mana. Sure. It's mana leaked. Yeah, I'll take that. Cryptic command. Interesting. I think I'll just try to electrolyze. Oops. There we go. And the gate. Very interesting. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, treasure cruise. I, I just have to negate that. If it works or not, that's... It's too bad if it doesn't work. And he has the Dispel. Splendid. Now there is a very big chance that he has something. Yeah, he didn't even draw, draw land. <laughs> Alright. Gonna grab another red here. Gonna grab red blue. Anger is good. Uh, do we try to jam Pyroskull? See. Yeah, I do think we try to jam Pyroskull. And if it works, it works. Since we have two... Oh god, a spell pierce. Couldn't even be a respectable count spell, it's just the cheesiest. But I, I do think that means that he doesn't have another count spell, I mean... It's kind of weird to use the cheap count spell when you're constrained on mana. A ticket would be a decent draw depending on what he do does next. <sighs> we do lose a lot of blue mana if we get Blood Moon here. But I guess if we get Blood Moon we will get to resolve Barris Call, and I don't think he has any artifact destruction. 
Come on. Is it that complicated? I think this is a very interesting matchup and I think this would have been awesome if we could have had it on turn one. Now it just sits in our hand. Three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. Bottom and top. And pass. Ooh, hello. Yes, I'm gonna play Treasure Cruise with Cryptic Command backup. It just resolves just like that. Hmm. I think then I will play Hmm. I'll play Creeping Tarpid and pass. I could try to resolve I mean he could have one more count spell, but the ley line is so bad right now. No, I'm just gonna pass. If he had another Trisha Cruise, he would probably have played it already. Do you have the click? A Snapcaster. Snapcaster Bolt? Yeah, that could be too bad. Count the target spell, draw a card. This does give him free range once again, but now we have a tech edge to try to force the battle skull through. Or do you have another one mana count spell? You have had like one, two, two so far. Yeah, I don't think we can just let that snapcaster resolve. It's five damage at the minimum. Okay, so he clearly does have a count spell, but he chose not to use it and just passes. Okay. And then we will pass as well. But now if he has another snapcaster, that's bad. And we'll have to try to I guess he does, obviously. <sighs> now we could just be dead. Yep. Now we'll have to try to block with a tar pit, I think. Yep. I'm gonna destroy that right now. So if he wants to bolt the creeping tar pit, he needs to do it with his only red source. Woohoo! I'm convinced that we will win if we can resolve the Barrow Skull. Another one, really? I would like to draw that many treasure cruises too. I guess I have drawn two, so I shouldn't complain. <coughs> yeah, it resolves. Again. Mana leak. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we should be able to push this through. I really hope so. Oh, it just resolved. Yay! So you do no lands and no count spell. I wonder what that means. Just burn. Is the charm sure? Yeah, so I think the upside of the ley lines is high enough that I would like to bring them in. Although the downside is not very good. Throwing pears and blood moon. Interesting. Blood moon, I can understand. I think just let that resolve. I don't really care about Young Pyromancer. Sure. 
I just want to connect once with uh, to germ, and I can actually anger pre-attacks. I don't really need to now, but I'm gonna anger anyway. Then we're gonna attack, and now I think this game is in the bag. Uh, so I guess we play Tectonic Edge just in case. Because he needs to do something pretty in incredible here. <laughs> I guess another Treasure Cruise would be nice. Speaking of Treasure Cruises. Should it be banned? Should it not be banned? I'm not sure. I mean, Blue Red Elver, for example, was a decent deck with the Treasure Cruise. It's a high contender. But if we are being completely serious, there is a lot of high contenders in Modern. And I mean, some graveyard hate, and you're there, basically. Like, like his deck, it could never cast a treasure cruise without a graveyard. If I had played this on turn 1 or turn 0 rather, this game would have been over 15 turns ago. I'm gonna destroy that because I can. Click. Uh, Sure, I'm gonna mana leak that. Sure, that's fine. Guess he will click himself. Targeting me. Okay. I guess I let him take that. If he wants to. He did, and it was not good for me. I'm gonna play this, play that tapped, and attack. I mean, now he's kind of in this again, which is pretty annoying. Because now next turn he can like block the germ, bolt it, and counter it on the way down. And that worries me a bit. Delver is fa fine, and that even works with Delver. Now we have the ley in play as well, but now we have played like three treasure cruises. One, two, three, yeah. He's running low on cards. I guess so am I. So what would be the best draw? Do we have any electric cruises? Yeah, put one on the bottom. Oh, we actually have one left. Yeah, that would be a pretty good draw. Or Treasure Cruise, maybe. Yeah, so he's in a very tough spot here. He's getting low. I'm not even close to dying. Although I'm completely empty. I don't have anything left. A blood burn here would not be that bad, it would just be annoying. I guess an electrolyze would be pretty good. Yeah, electrolyze would be pretty nice. Do we have any left? Yes, we do. Do we have the snapcast left? Yes, we do. Another Delver. So now if we could draw another Anger, that would be pretty nice. Pillar of Flame. Yes, I'm pretty sure that he will bolt this. But I'm not sure what he can do about it on the way down. So he's gonna take it. Do I save this? I can't pillar. 
or flame something 369 you know what I think I'll just keep that in hand an, an empty snapcaster that doesn't do anything for you but sure so do they blind flip on a cryptic command molten rain Six, three, six, nine. He can't play multi rain though, and he has drawn so few lands. Like, look at this: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lands in forty cards. <laughs> Jesus, that is incredible. I'm gonna go ahead and fetch. I don't think I have, I'm not sure if I have any lands left. I can grab a blood crypt. Drone catacombs. So let's test him. So this plays around dispel, mana leak, spell pierce, remand. There's just no count spell that kills the Pillar of Flame. Sure. Gonna throw it again. And then we will attack. And hopefully this will work. <laughs> because if this attack doesn't land, I lose. Do you have a Vapor Snag? I'm not a Snapcaster Mage. Well, then I could be dead anyway. So I'm 12. Yeah, Bolt and I'm dead. I don't think I could have played it any differently. So now he's checking. Does he have anything? No, he does not. Or he's just drawing for the Bolt. If he doesn't win right now, things will be tough for him. It needs to be specifically a Bolt. It can't be anything else. What have we seen? One lightning bolt only. Yeah, I'd say I'm pretty dead. And another red source and molt terrain. That does not do it. So I get one more draw step. One more draw step. Well, I have to go for it. Do you have a dispel? Very tight game. I love those kinds of games. Whew. So what did we have left? Mana leak would not have done it, obviously. <laughs> More lands, there we go. I guess I was also a bolt away from winning. Well, GG's, I'll see you shortly for game two.